back in Manchester. We had paranormal cameras put in here for a month to see if we could catch any activity. And the Wakefields have caught what they believe to be their house ghost Malcolm, sabotaging their attempt to catch him on camera. I was coming down the stairs and noticed the camera had turned around. This is all did you not want us to film the stairs? Examining the footage, there were clearly no shadows or people in the vicinity, so it is possible that a spirit was able to move the camera on that tripod. After Malcolm's interaction on the stairs, his presence and activity in the house increased exponentially. When Malcolm turned down the shelves in my bedroom, I would have, I, I would have died. And was causing stress between the family. It thrives off negativity. Sometimes it can be every other day. Malcolm's tactics, yeah, he's like, that's to scare, try and scare me. It doesn't work. You know, it doesn't frighten me one little bit. Throwing things around, knocking shelves down. I feel not safe to be alone around, like, him, this house now, all terrifies me. Karen was at the end of her tether. And for the sake of her family's safety, decided to ask international psychic medium Nick Sage around for a house call. We're here live with uh, Karen Wakefield. There's definitely very, very, very strong energy here. I want to get to the bottom of what's going on. Karen was hoping that Nick would be able to communicate with Malcolm and ultimately remove him from her house. Oh, it's freezing. Freezing on me like a very, very, very cold trap coming down these stairs. But Nick's presence only serves to anger Malcolm. <laughs> the rope pod's gone off again, okay? It's with the energy, it's with the energy, so that's where the nastiness is. It's for that. Yeah, yeah, it's for that. That's where not happy and nothing prepared them for what was about to happen. Is it true? What the hell was that? Who did it? No, it's just death, did that? No, I didn't touch no, it. No, I didn't touch it. Oh, oh my word. word. Yet again, Malcolm seemingly sabotaged another attempt to catch him on camera. Is it true? What the hell was that? Again, violently knocking over equipment that was set up to record the top of the stairs. No, I didn't touch it. No, I didn't touch it. Oh my word. word. I was moving forward. The shine on the still back, back. Wow. The camera's gone. It's completely flat. Oh my god. The actual camera's on the tripod, it's just fell over. It's completely it's it's fell over sun? and the camera's gone off. Living with an aggressive spirit in one's home would be terrifying. There would be opportunities for the spirit to manifest, show themselves, throw things and hurt the individuals that might live on this property. Stop the noise, please. Concerned about the safety of everyone in the house. Don't wish you any harm. We don't want to, we don't wish you any harm, okay? Nick draws the evening to a close. It was clear that Malcolm was going nowhere. I want you to come towards me, don't wish you any harm. This is why what he is, is he's going mad because it's like, feels as if we're all playing judge and jury. Uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna leave it because there's a few of us getting a bit agitated. The only thing that could uh, let Malcolm stay in this house if he would be the protector of this house. The protector is a different kind of spirit in a way, but by example, a castle when he, you have lots of guards who are used to, to protect this place. Sometimes other spirits want to keep protecting it and they became the guardian of the place and they won't gonna be okay to see the light yet because they still have a lot of work to do from their point of view. After her experience that night, Karen's had to learn to live with Malcolm in the house. Living with the ghost, it's just living with the unknown, the unexplainable. I won't mind coming in one day and be able to sit downstairs, but never, I won't go. Don't entertain downstairs. It's like a no-go area for me. Although initially hard for the Wakefields to accept. We have actually got used to Malcolm being here, so we've actually accepted it. An uneasy coexistence between them and Malcolm has developed. Malcolm's part, more or less part of the domino. I could not imagine myself living without Malcolm. I think the house would be really boring if he wasn't around. 
think what's interesting about this case is that I don't see any reason to particularly believe that the family are faking stuff. I think they genuinely believe that there is spirit activity in the house. And actually, they, they find it quite comforting. Malcolm's that part of the family. We, even though he scares me, we still put his name on Christmas cards and birthday cards. If that didn't have you screaming WTF, then this next capture absolutely...